Welcome back to Ecom Ranks. In this video, I will get you what's the best one product Shopify theme. So the theme name is called the Startup uh, Shopify theme. It's perfect for direct to consumer focused brands with small catalogs. If you have small amount of product or have a single product then this is the best theme in this video i will guide you how are you able to customize the startup shopify theme so first of all let me show you a demo store of it okay so this is a bed uh, product uh, website okay it's nicely designed you can here see a video some of the features and then the product with add to cart button and here are the testimonials and this is the fact section so it's a nice pretty a cool website so let us move to our website and start customizing it i have already added its uh, trial version i will purchase it i will purchase it later so the first step you have to do is uh, you have to upload your products Oh, okay i have already uploaded uploaded it create your pages like about us contact us pages from here you are able to create pages and from here you are able to create uh, menus i have created three menus uh, one is one is for the header main menu which will go at the top similar to this one and uh, two footer menus uh, one is called the customer support which contains contact us such uh, links and the, the second one is called quick links which contains all policies the both of these menus will go in the footer section just like this one okay so the navigation is ready the pages are ready the product is ready so let's move back to theme and start customizing it okay from here the first thing we have to customize is announcement bar so what do you want to announce you can simply click on it and, and then add some text to it so let me add free shipping this is quite engaging and attractive content so i have added it uh, for the colors you are able to select styles from here and uh, like a scent color or simple standard one so i would like to select the a scent and let us customize this a scent color so for this you have to go back and click on theme settings and here is an option for colors there would be an option for a scents okay from here i have to add my brand color i have this is my brand color so let me copy it i have already created its hexa code so simply paste it over here okay so now it's looking cool the uh, ascent color has been replaced let us go back to announcement bar okay so now the style is ascent so the first section and that i have uh, uh, told you is called the announcement bar simply hit the save button and the announcement bar is saved okay so the next section is called header okay so let me disable this option you can also disable it by clicking on it it's a new feature added by shopify you can simply deactivate it from here okay so what is a sticky header if i scroll down it will scroll uh, along with me or to the website the header is moving down so it's not a good feature because it's covered 20 percent of the website area so let me remove this option i don't need it and uh, do you want to show the search icon here i don't want to show the search icon because i only have one product so there is no purpose of adding ash uh, search icon and here we have i have added uh, my brand logo and from here we are able to adjust the uh, maximum width of mobile and for the desktop i have already set it to maximum for my mobile and maximum for my 
desktop version and here i have assigned a main menu this is the menu that i have created it in the backend i have assigned it to it the main menu okay so from here we are able to select the menu style like where do you want to place your logo if i select this option the logo will come at center and the menus will go here and if i select this option the logo will be at top and the menu will be below it so the best thing i would like to take it according to my brand is logo left and menu should be at right okay so the this is the transparent header i don't want to show transparent header so i have simply untick this option and you for the transparent header header you can get an idea this is a transparent header whereas in my uh, brand website it's not transparent it has white background so uh, the the header has been customized hit the save button okay so the next section uh, i'm going to teach you is promotion okay click on it and from here styles you are able to select the style so let me use this ascent as a style it's looking nice and from here you are able to add a heading and here you are able to add a text just like this one i have added and below it you are able to add the button and a link to your product and from here you are able to add any of the image let me change image to it okay so three sections have been customized now go back and let's check a uh, fourth section what's that it's text column with images okay so uh, let me scroll down basically this is the section that i'm going to teach you so simply copy it i'm not uh, doing it according to my brand i'm just uh, going to teach you so you can adjust it according to your brand for this images you have uh, you can uh, use a, web, a nice website called flaticons.com they provide free icons you can select any like you can search any name like durability durable okay and search for it there are a lot of icons that you are able to download it and then you are able to upload it over here okay so i am simply saving these icons okay it's a webp file let me save this one okay so the icon has been downloaded let me download this one too okay i have uh, downloaded two of the uh, icons let me upload them okay so now the icons have been added you are able to add a, a feature title over here let me simply copy it let me copy this text and paste it over here okay so similarly you are able to customize this second section this one and similarly you are able to change the heading and the text from here okay and similarly you are able to change the feature title and have the text uh, along with the image from here okay so this is quite simple i have already told you so the next section that i'm going to teach you is called the featured collection if you have multiple products you can simply click on it and you can assign a collection to it i don't have any products so uh, i only have one product so i don't need this section let's remove this section you are also able to remove this section from here okay i have removed that section uh, moreover i want to add a new section which is called uh, featured product let me add that section from here 
here you have to click on add section and then choose featured product section and from here you are able to uh, open its uh, drop down menu or close it and from here you are able to drag it up so i am simply dragging it up over here okay so here here we are able to assign our product so select uh, let me select my product i have selected my products it's again asking for the style i have set it to default and from here we are able to adjust the enable image zoom okay so if i disable it it, it won't show the zoom option so it's a nice feature i have just enable it and uh, these two options are for the videos you are also able to add a video to your products uh, if we go to the uh, demo website you can see the video over here have been added it's a nice video if you have it i would suggest to add it to your shopify and from here you are able to do its setting okay so scroll back and here you are able to uh, gallery uh, adjust the position of the gallery it's fine and from here you are able to move uh, these sections up and down okay so the what's the additional info i don't have any additional info so i'm simply removing it so this section ha is uh, also customized i want to remove this featured product uh, okay so click on it and here you can simply remove it and hit the save button okay so the four section have been taught and uh, i think you got pretty idea how you are able to customize the startup shopify theme okay so the next section i'm going to teach you is called image with text overlay if you have an image you can simply paste it over here okay let me select that image and from here you are able to adjust the desktop height so uh, i would select original aspect ratio as the image okay from the mobile you can also for the mobile you can also select this option original aspect ratio okay so it won't cut any of the portion it will show uh, the same image that you will upload okay from here you are able to adjust the opacity let me do it to zero percent okay so now the image is fine hit the save button okay so the next section i'm going to teach you is testimonials you are able to add the images the star and the text and the name this is quite simple you can click on it and here you are able to add the image okay so let me just add it as an example okay so the image has been added from here you are able to uh, adjust the focal point of the image let me do it to the top okay so from here you are able to move the uh, image to some extent okay here you are able to select the star ratings so let's select 4.5 and from here you are able to add the review and here if you have a pro uh, author image or if you have a customer image you can upload it and here you are add its name so it's quite simple you can upload uh, up to three to four testimonials that would be good for your website the next section i would like to teach you is called the fact section if you have any in, infrequently asked questions you can simply add a question over here and then uh, answer over here it's also a simple section and what's another section is image with text i don't need it for my brand and that's not a nice section so i am removing it and what's next it's a twitter feed if you have a twitter account uh, for your brand you can simply uh, add its username over here then uh, our twitter pro images would start showing here so just let me add something like 
Shopify. And when I select this option, show shop images, it would select that it would start showing the Twitter feed over here. I don't need this section, so I'm simply removing it. And the last section I would like to teach you is called the footer section. Okay, so here it's asking I have created already two menus. The first one I would like to show is customer support, and the second menu I would like to show is quick links okay so here it's asking if oh do you want to show social links yes i want to show social links so um, what social link what are the social links social links basically is the uh, pages social media pages link that you have uh, created uh, for your brand for to add their links you have to click click on theme settings and here you are able to add their links i am simply adding the hashtags you can just copy the links of your pages and add it, add it over here okay so it's a simple and hit the save button after hitting the save button it would start showing here okay so the final thing i'm going to teach you is to how to add a favicon favicon is basically a small icon similar to this shopify and similar to this amazon i have uh, this icon over here so select it and hit the save button so it's a quick tutorial on how are you able to customize the startup shopify theme or best one product shopify store theme if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching